Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, today we're going to take a look at histograms and how to make them. What you'll find is these are very similar to bar graphs with only a, a few differences. So if you're familiar and you're comfortable with bar graphs, this is not uh, too much different. Um, a histogram is simply a graph that shows the frequency with equal intervals. So <clears throat> what I've written up here already is a frequency table, which we did um, a few lessons back. If you're confused by the frequency table, go ahead and rewatch that video. Um, and we're going to use the frequency table, which has time intervals, and you'll notice these are even intervals. They're two-hour intervals. Um, this is a graph for the number of customers who came into a store during certain hours. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fill it, finish up our frequency table. Achoo! Sorry. <laughs> and then we're going to make it into a histogram. So the first thing you'll notice is I already have the tally marks. As they went through the day, you would tally it up. So we're just going to count tally marks, fill in our frequency so we can make our histogram. So I've got 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 42 customers in those first two hours. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 35 in the next two. And you'll notice I've got 10 through, well, 10 through 12, basically 12 to 2, 2 to 4, 4 to 6, 6 to 8. Um, here we've got two. Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 24, 17, and 19. All right, so these are the numbers we want to look at because that's what we're going to use to fill in our histogram. We're going to make it very similar to a bar graph. You'll notice I already have, we have um, a y-axis, an x-axis. I already drew those and have those labeled for you. Again, we have a title just like we would on a bar graph <coughs> here would be the number of customers on my frequency table. Down here are my time intervals, okay? So now all I'm doing is drawing bars for how many people were there. So in the first one, I had 42. So here I have the first one listed. I'm gonna come up to 42, draw a nice thick bar in there. I'm gonna flip colors for my next one. All right, my next interval, there was 35. So I'm gonna come to 35, and you'll notice that my bars are touching. That's the way they should be. They should touch each other as you go. Um, our next one, after 35, there were 24 in our next time set. So we're going to come here to 24. Again, draw our bars that are nice and big and thick. Uh, our next one was 17. And our final one was 19. So you'll notice that we drew the bars the same way that we would draw them uh, for a bar graph. The only difference is they're all touching each other and we're dealing with intervals instead of one specific time. So now I'm looking at the time intervals here. So then from here we could draw some conclusions by looking at it. We could ask some questions about it as well. We'll do that on the next one. We'll make another histogram together here. All right. Here I've already given you the frequency table. We already have the frequencies calculated. So all we're going to do is we're going to make our histogram together. All right. So remember the first thing that we need to do, um, I'll put the title on last, is we need an X and a Y axis. So the Y axis goes this way. The X axis goes this way. The X axis is going to have my time intervals on it. So, um, or sorry, in this case it's an age interval. So my first set is 10 to 19 year olds. The next one was 20, 29 year olds, 30, 39, 40 to 49. So all I'm doing is labeling what's already been given to me. In my uh, frequency chart, my frequency chart, I already have my intervals written. So I'm just copying those down onto my X axis and I'm going to label this as ages because we always want to label what it is that we're marking. So there's the ages. This side is going to be the number of people or the frequency. Um, this is actually data for uh, people who visit a music store. So we'll title that at the end. So you'll notice it starts at zero. Well, I have a range from zero up through 84. So I think I'm going to go in fives. I'm going to pick an interval that's going to work for my graph. I think I'll go up by fives as I go. Maybe to extend the 
in my grab. I'm running out of room. I went up in fives. I just labeled that so that I know how far up to make the bars when I put them onto my histogram. Okay? So then again, we're just looking um, and we're going to draw our bars in like we would on a bar graph. So in my age range of 10 to 19, which is my first bar, there were 84 of them. So I'm going to come up here to, oh, I guess I'm going to help fatten 85 up here. Sorry, my lines are really not straight. So I'm going to come up to 84, make my first bar, and shade it in. Um, our next age range, 20 to 29, there was 68. So again, just come up, find on your graph where is 68, shade that in. 30 to 39, there were 40. So again, just come up, find where 40 is, make your bar. 40 to 49 was 12. Here, about here. Um, 50 to 59 was 5. And there were none for the last one. So we just draw our bars in there like that. You'll notice they're all touching. We've shaded them in. And now we have a pictorial representation of my frequency chart. That's all we're doing with a histogram. We're pictorially representing our numbers so that we can just visually glance at it and answer some questions. So uh, I could ask you a question like, which age group purchased the greatest number of musical instruments? And you know what we did forget? I forgot a title that I should put on this. We're going to call this... Um, Purchases in a music store. We always want a title. So uh, now I can ask which age range or age group purchased the greatest number of musical instruments? How can you tell that from the histogram? Well, obviously we're looking for the tallest bar because that means they spent, uh, they purchased the most. So our tallest bar here is in our first age range, 10 to 19 year olds, we're most likely to come in and buy um, an instrument in this store. Uh, what percentage of shoppers who shopped at that store during the week are from the ages 50 to 59? So this one's a little more complex. We're not just gonna look at the bars. We need to look at the numbers here as well. Um, but this is good, we'll review percentages. So 50 to 59 was five, so we're gonna do it as a proportion, five, out of how many? Well, now I need to know the total number of people here. So we're going to add up all of our people here. Um, and if we had a cumulative frequency chart, that would make it a little easier for us. But we'll just add it all now. So I've got, uh, you know, I'm going to use my calculator to save time. 84 plus 60 plus 40 plus 12 plus 5 plus 2. OK, so there's a total of 211 customers. So remember, percentages are always equal to x over 100. Once we've set it up as a proportion, we can cross multiply and then solve. So 5 times 100 is 500, 211 is x. When I divide that to get x by itself, I'm going to wind up with, uh, we'll round it to 2.4, approximately 2.4%, which makes sense. It was not a lot of people, not a lot of um, elderly people came in and purchased them. So we would expect that percentage to be low. But that's just another way that we can use the histogram um, and our charts to answer some questions. The other question we could ask is, what is the range of the frequencies? And again, that might be easier to answer based on your table here rather than your histogram. Um, Remember, range refers to the, the highest number minus the lowest. Our highest was 84. Our lowest was zero. So we have a range of 84. Um, so there's a few other things that you can do with this. But it's, again, um, like any graph, it's just a visual way to kind of help you uh, process the information and see what's going on. Um, if you're confused, you have any questions, go ahead and rewatch the video. Feel free to email me your questions, post them in the comments, or ask in class. Have a great night, guys.